Would you look at that? We've got another package. What's up guys and welcome to the video. As you can tell, we have an unboxing to do from the BPI Sports Company. They reached out to me through email, so the YouTube channel wanted to send me a box of goodies. So I got that in and I'm gonna open it for you guys. Now, quick thing you guys should know is I've never actually used anything from BPI Sports before. I've heard a lot of great things about it, read a lot of reviews as well. So I'm excited that they reached out to me. I thought that was awesome. I'm excited to try out the products and I'll show you guys that right now. So when you first open the box, this is the first thing you see. Be better, be stronger, BPI. I think that's a great message. And then <clears throat> you get a Protein 101 packet. And also on the top, we have a few samples of their Vortex, which is their pre-workout. And that is the fruit punch flavor. I am about to work out, so I will give one of these a try and do a live taste test for you guys. And if you're watching this and you have tried BPI products, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And then what else do we have? More of their Vortex. This is Snow Cone. So I've heard a ton of great things about this. This is their pre-training powder. There is 50 servings in this little thing. 50 servings, so if you're like me and you're a college student and you have no idea what you should buy, what you should use, you're trying to save money but you wanna get something that's good. And this is pretty good. If you get 50 servings out of this, Highly recommend that. Again, this is their pre-workout snow cone. It says to take 15 to 30 minutes prior to training, energy, focus, and strength. And tastes awesome. <laughs> right there. So pretty cool. I'll definitely have to open this, but I think I want to try the packet first. Then we have their Whey HD. And this is their vanilla caramel. I love vanilla, so glad I got this. 25 grams of protein per scoop, and you're looking at three grams of fat, four carbs, 25 protein, so that is a pretty good ratio. And 37 grams is one scoop. And what I recommend is that whenever you're getting something new like this from a company you've never used before, weigh out what they consider one scoop is because you'll find out that sometimes it's completely off. So whenever I have something new like this, I always weigh out the first scoop. That way I know for later on, pro tip right there, weigh out the scoop when you first get it. I'm not gonna try this right now, but after my workout, I will do that. Come back and tell you guys what I think. In the box, we also have a t-shirt, size medium. Pretty awesome. So, pretty, pretty cool. That's what it is on the back. So awesome. Thank you BPI for sending that out. I really do appreciate that. Again, if you guys have tried any of this, please leave that in the comment box below. But I'm about to work out, so I'm going to use some of the pre-workout. I'm also going to measure out what they consider one serving is, so let's check that out. Also, I want to give you guys a quick heads up if you are receiving any samples like this, you know, you go to an expo and you're like, oh, this is a sample, I can have the whole thing. Make sure you read the labels. The labels are there for a reason. If you look on here, it says two servings. Two servings, and this is considered a sample. So make sure you read everything. So they say half a packet, half of this is one serving. So there's just something to remember because you could think you're having one serving, which they consider three grams, half of this, when you're really having double. So I just want you guys to, you know, understand that. Read your labels. Let's try this out. Okay, so I'm going for two servings which on here would be the whole packet. As you can see, half a packet is three grams. I'm doing whole thing, so if I do the whole packet, it should be six grams. Look at that, six grams in there. So, changed into the shirt, fits pretty nice. Dropping that. So, back to the pre-workout, so you can trust it, the servings are accurate. Just make sure you read the labels and you're aware of what you're actually taking in. So this is their fruit punch. I'll give you guys a taste test right now. It smells like fruit punch. That's like perfect. Perfect amount of water you can see. Not that much is in there. Not overpowering. Cause I'm not a huge fruit punch fan, but this is pretty good. I like it. Very good. One thing I want to talk about really quickly is since my channel is focused on really how to help girls and form girls of what they should be taking in, workouts and that, it is okay to lift. It is okay to lift heavy. Is it okay to eat extra to build muscle and you're not gonna look like a man and everything so with these products it's okay to have a pre-workout it's literally just like caffeine 
Maybe some things are gonna give you a pump while you're in the gym, but it's nothing more than just like having your cup of coffee. Just be aware of how much caffeine you are taking in. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below to Colossal Fitness, and they have a specific video that they actually just released that is about caffeine drinks and coffee and how much is really in the drink and how much your body actually needs. So if you wanna check that out, link will be in the description box below. Again, that is Colossal Fitness, highly recommend them. Now when it comes to protein powders and everything, it doesn't matter whether you're boy, girl, male, female, old, young, whatever, protein powder is okay to take. But it's really just a protein substitute. If you can't get enough protein from your foods, protein powder is a good substitute to have. I don't recommend having protein powder for every single meal. You know, you want to get your protein sources from things like chicken, fish, and tuna, things like that. Things that are going to be natural for you rather than everything that they put into protein powders. Protein powder is just there if you cannot reach your goal or stay within your macros and just use regular sources of protein. There's really nothing bad in it. You know, girls can have it. Don't be afraid to go out and buy protein powders or a pre-workout. You will be okay. Just know how to use it in the proper way. So that's gonna do it for this part of the video. I'm gonna go work out, finish drinking this, and I'll see you guys when I come back to try the protein powder. Thank you for watching this video so far. See you in about two YouTube seconds. Well, that was quick. So we are back, worked out many, many hours later, but only two seconds for you guys. And we are going to try this vanilla caramel protein powder. I'm gonna show you guys the scoop measurement, all that. And I'm just gonna mix it into a shake with water so I give you the true taste test. Real quick, my review on the pre-workout. Mixability, probably like a seven or eight out of 10. Little gritty at the end, but not that big of a deal. Flavor, 10 out of a 10. And this is coming from a person who doesn't even like fruit punch flavored things, but I love this one. Effect, probably like a 9 out of 10, and you don't get like the itchy feeling that you get from some pre-workouts. This was very good, highly recommend that, so I love that product. But now it's time to try out the protein powder, so let's get to that now. So what you just saw was me opening this and putting one scoop into the shaker cup and weighing it out. Now one serving here is 37 grams and as you could tell I had to go back and scoop a little bit more because when it first came out it was like 34 grams. Now that could be maybe the scooper wasn't completely filled but on the plus side and you guys know this the scoopers on the top that's like the best thing ever and the scooper was. In this container there is only five servings but again it's just a sample so let's give a taste test right now. That should do it. it. Smells more like vanilla, not a huge caramel smell. Let's see if it tastes like it. Really just tastes like vanilla. Mixes well, mixes pretty good, it gets kind of thick. Vanilla wise, probably not the best vanilla protein powder that I've ever had. Should be interested to try other flavors by them, but I think pretty good overall. I like that they have the stamp approval that's been tested so that's good that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy the review again i just like to show you guys different supplements different companies what to look out for especially if you are a girl watching this and you want to know should i be taking this should i not be taking it you know really just stick to the basics pre-workout is good something to, like bcas is also very good and protein powder if you can't get other protein sources that's gonna do it for the video thank you to bpi sports and for the company for reaching out and sending me this stuff. That is awesome. We're in the shirt still. So thank you all once again. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you've tried any of their products, any other flavors that you want me to try out. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again. And as always, have a great week.